Hey guys, it's Amy here from Sunshine Functional Healing. And if you're new to my channel, um, my name again is Amy Reed and I am a functional medicine nurse practitioner and I specialize in the treatment of women with fibromyalgia so that they can have improved pain, fatigue, and no brain fog so that they can get back to loving their lives and living the lives that they had prior to their fibromyalgia. Today, I'm going to be going over five key habits that are going to help you ensure that you always start your day off the right way because it never seems to fail with fibromyalgia that you'll wake up and you're unexpectedly in a ton of pain or you're super stiff and you can't get moving. And so that really can... Um, create a downward spiral in our mornings and really set us up for having a terrible day. And so in order to combat that, check out these tips and see how you do. So you want to make sure that you're starting your day off the right way so that you feel calmer, you're happier, you're more productive right from the get-go. This is going to make sure that you don't waste your time searching for missing or lost items. And you want to make sure that when you're starting to incorporate these new habits, that you realize that they don't happen overnight. This is not a listen to and tomorrow you're going to have this magical morning. This is something that you're going to have to do and you're going to have to practice. Um, implementing habits um, so that they become a, a lifelong ingrained habit in your brain takes at least 21 days. That's the minimum it takes for people to create this habit that they can stick to day after day. So if you want to have your normal routine be a magnificent morning, start working on these tips right away. And within 30 days, you are going to have some brand new habits. So first habit is you want to tidy up the night before. So we've all been there where we feel too tired to load the dishwasher at night or clean off the counters or vacuum the family room. But spending a little time every single evening tidying up and cleaning um, away the dirt, the clutter, the debris from the day is really going to help make sure that you save time in the long run. And especially if you have children, this is a great habit to get into is cleaning up the night before. Um, and I know on a day that you're having terrible pain and things like that, it may get into the way of it. Um, but try to get into the habit that um, on a routine daily basis that you're tidying up the night, be fun, the night before, because you can make this into a fun routine. You can involve all the family. You can set the timer for 15 minutes and zip through these chores. And of course, if you're on your own, you may take you a little bit longer um, to get through your list, but create a routine. You'll get good at it. You'll get faster at it and it will be easier because you're doing it all the time. And the next tip is to prepare your lunches in advance. So if you're somebody who packs your lunch every day, your children take a home lunch, something like that, make sure you're doing it the night before. And this is especially helpful if you're dieting or if you have limited options for food. Like I am dairy and gluten free um, because I have sensitivities to both of those. Um, and when I eat them, I have terrible fibromyalgia symptoms. So I stay away from those foods. And so I can't always eat when I'm out. So I pack my food if I'm going anywhere. Anywhere. Um, so prep your food the night before. Um, food preparation takes time and it isn't fun when you're in a rush to get ready for work. So spending time preparing lunches for the family the night before is going to make sure that everybody is getting something really nutritious for lunch and it's going to save you time and it's going to save you money. Plan ahead so that you know exactly what everyone is having each day that week. Um, and this is going to make sure that you um, have everything that you need in the house so that there aren't any last minute panics. So for me and my family, I like to do it on Sundays. Um, I think about what do we have in the house? What groceries do we have? What are we going to eat for the week? And we plan everything out. Now, I, I do admit that I do prep a little bit ahead of time so that I have the right food in the house um, so that when I'm getting ready to make my list. So I kind of do like a, um, I have like a 14 day um, routine that I do for groceries and for food that we eat. And that's not to say that we don't mix it up and have different things um, here and there, but typically we have these staple 14 meals that we can get through any two week period of time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner with everything in the house. Um, so that for me has been really, really helpful. Um, and then you want to make sure you're getting your clothes ready the night before so that in the morning that that's not one thing sitting there distracting you. 
So how much time do you spend um, trying to pick out your clothes and um, morning of and, and trying to figure out what you're going to wear for the day? It's probably too much time. Unless you're like me um, in the past where I was able to wear scrubs every day. I didn't have to think about it. You know, I had to think about what socks I was going to put on, my shoes, everything else I needed was at work. Um, but most people don't have that luxury. And so you have to think about what you're going to wear. And um, you also want to think about what your kids are going to wear. Are their clothes clean? Do they have a recital? Do they have hockey practice? You know, what do they have going on and what do they need? Get it ready the night before. This is sure beats getting everything ready the, um, the morning of. Um, so make sure you get the entire outfit out there. You um, have it on its hanger or you take it off the hanger and you set it somewhere. And that you have the underwear, you have the shoes, and you have the accessories that you want to wear with it. And an even better habit is to really organize the entire week's wardrobe into a Sunday through um, Friday kind of like bins. Um, I've used like the hanging um, little bins before and it worked out really well when my kids were younger and on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the kids just have to grab their clothes. So on Sunday, we'd spend, you know, half an hour picking through the clothes. The kids would put it in there and then I go back and double check to make sure that they have everything that they really do need. Um, and it's super, super great and easy for the next day. Next, you want to make sure that you're um, creating a to-do list. Write down all the chores and the calls that you need to get done the following day, especially things that aren't a habit or routine, such as maybe you need to schedule your dentist appointments, or maybe the cable went out and you need to check on that, or you got to talk to the bank about um, a fee that you've seen on your account, whatever it is, write it down, get it onto your list and take care of it. Um, this helps you forget about it so that you don't have to worry while you're trying to sleep and it, um, having it interfere with your rest. Um, and it gets it onto that list so that you don't have to think and worry and, and keep your brain on alert for it. So um, if you have um, things that you need to do, get them on the list and you'll have your list right near you. You'll know exactly what you need to do the next day. And then finally, the fifth tip is bag it. Spend some time every um, night putting everything that you're going to need for the next day into your bag. You won't need your laptop. You're not going to need like an iPad overnight. So putting it in your bag um, just in case um, right before you get ready for bed is going to help make sure that you don't forget it the next day. So any work documents or school books um, should be put into the bag so that you don't forget it. So if your children have gym class or football or another school activity, make sure that they have everything necessary and ready and into a bag um, or into their book bag for school the next day so that they have everything that they need. And in the morning, nobody is searching around for items. Starting your day every day feeling positive and organized is really um, important. And it really does have a huge impact on the rest of your day. So starting out chaotic um, is really difficult to recover from. So if you already are chancing having pain or fatigue or, you know, your IBS is acting up, whatever the case is, and you know you deal with these things on a regular basis, try these habits. Try setting yourself up for better success. Um, and you are going to start feeling better. Your household will feel better and mornings will just be better for you. Um, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're alerted. I put out new videos every Tuesday. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.